First of all, it's useful to just differentiate between a production manager and a producer. A producer would be the person who thinks about how the film gets publicity, how it's perhaps entered into film festivals, um, how money is raised for the film. So that's not a role that I'm going to be talking about here because we're talking about a slightly smaller scale of project um, with a very limited budget, if any budget at all. And the role that really needs to be filled for these purposes is the production manager. If you don't appoint a production manager, then somebody in the team will end up picking up this role because this is the person who, who dots all the I's and crosses all the T's and makes sure that all the little pieces of the jigsaw puzzle are complete. Particularly important on filming day when you just need everything to run smoothly and there's somebody who has that overview. The production manager is the bridge between the creative aims of the project and the practicalities. So this ranges from finding the ideal location for a scene to supplying what's needed in the scene, furniture, props, food, whatever it might be, to other questions like are there toilets available for the cast and crew to use and where are food and drink available close by. So these are all things that uh, you won't necessarily be seeing on film, uh, unless they are pieces of furniture that you see in shot, but they're vital tools for making the day run smoothly. Well, there are ways to raise money, of course there are. You can crowdfund and you can also Google all sorts of schemes for short films. But the production manager's role is much more about finding creative solutions to the plans so that you avoid bells and whistles, especially on your first short film, and you find creative solutions to deliver the story. Um, and that really is a, a vital part of the process so that you are not relying on pots of money for this. You are going to devise ways to get your results on the cheap. That said, it's also worth knowing for future, if you have a short film already under your belt, great to be able to say to somebody, look, we've made this, um, we'd love some money to make uh, project B. And they're much more likely to say, oh, fantastic, we'd love to give you something, if they can already see the results of your efforts the first time round. Also, never forget that you could perhaps film something and then apply for money to complete it. So it might not be appropriate on this occasion, but you can always apply for funding part way through a project. As I said, get Googling, there are lots of schemes out there. Keep communicating, keep talking to the whole team through the preparation of the film and obviously on filming day itself and keep asking questions. Uh, it's, it's especially useful if you're the one asking even obvious questions because you want to encounter as few surprises on the day as possible and you'll encounter fewer surprises if you've thought about things ahead so keep asking questions and try to be the person who says yes or finds solutions to problems. Very often this role is associated with no's. No, you can't do this. No, there isn't the money for that. No, this is impossible because such and such isn't available then. Try to be the person who finds solutions and supplies answers and recruit people to help you. On the day itself, on filming day, it will be impossible for you to be everywhere at once, making sure that everything happens when it's supposed to. So recruit people to come along and volunteer, help get the food and drink ready, um, show people where uh, they need to go, where the rest area is, whatever it is. 
bring on volunteers to, to help you. And above all, keep passionate. Remember the end product that is on the horizon when this film all comes together. Stay passionate about that and all will be well. Thank you.